Hey everybody, KC here. So yeah, I know, I've been pretty tough, piling on the likes of CVS and Walgreens and pretty much the entire chain drugstore business over the past, I don't know, days, weeks, months, maybe years. Based on the email I get from the Morning Newsbeat community, I think most of you sort of agree with me, although there are a few people who think I'm being a little tough on them. But I gotta tell you, this weekend, I had a CVS experience that I think to me illustrates part of the problem. Okay. So, uh, this is content guy tested positive for COVID. Um, I'm so far negative, uh, although we're being, res you know, we're, we're being appropriate in terms of social distancing and staying apart from each other. And she's wearing a mask and, and isolating because uh, I do not want to get COVID if I can avoid it. Although I got to tell you, I may have had it a week or two ago. I had a, like some allergies um, and uh, I thought it was just allergies and Claritin seemed to solve the problem. And ends up, once she got it, I was doing a little research, and they said, oh no, when you have COVID, uh, it kind of presents as al allergies, or it can. So anyway, I have, been, right now I'm testing negative, so all is good. Anyway, um, being the weekend, we couldn't, you know, she really couldn't get any Paxlovid, so I, I went down to the store to pick up some NyQuil and DayQuil to kind of help her sleep and, you know, kind of alleviate some of the symptoms. Go to CVS and the NyQuil and the DayQuil are sort of locked up, right? They're behind glass and they're, and they're locked up. Now, I sort of understand that I can, in certain cases there are things they want to lock up, but I have a couple of problems with it. First of all, yeah, obviously you have to push a, a button to say, okay, could somebody come here please and unlock the glass container? Well, there was no button on that glass container. You had to look down the aisle a little bit on, and there was actually a, um, a pole preventing me from seeing it. So uh, it just took me a while to figure out where the button was so I could get somebody to come and unlock the glass. Then I pushed the button and a minute went by and I heard the announcement, you know, please go to, the, you know, they need help on aisle four or five, whatever it happened to be. I heard the announcement. One minute went by, two minutes went by, three minutes went by, four minutes went by, five minutes went by and nobody showed up. And listen, I, first of all, I understand security issues, but if you're going to lock things behind cases, you gotta have somebody on call who's able to go out and, and unlock those cases. Now, the store wasn't busy, right? not busy at all. In fact, there was no line at the checkout counter, and they're pretty much directing the couple of customers that were there to self-checkout. There were a couple of people at the pharmacy when I was there, although the pharmacy was also closing down for an hour for lunch, and the problem is, is their, their, their level of service is so low in the space where they should really be, um, have a lot of expertise. That should be their sweet spot. Somebody comes into a drugstore, is looking for medication. You should be able to provide it. You should be able to provide them with help. You should be able to do the things you need to do to go to get them out of there with the stuff that they need. And it so happened when I was there, our local independent pharmacy, which isn't far away, they happen to be closed. I gotta tell you, it is a perfect example of what they're not doing well. And this is the kind of stuff they're going to have to address going forward if we wanna be a viable business in the drug space, okay? We gotta figure out how to deliver products and services in a more efficient manner. I get there are lots of issues, but they gotta deal with this basic stuff before they can help to uh, hope to ever um, expand into other segments of healthcare and just closing ineffective stores or stores that are not being productive isn't gonna solve this problem. There's gotta be a cultural problem. There's gotta be a leadership problem. They simply are not good at doing the things that they need to do well. And until they fix that, they're gonna be in for a world of hurt. And no wonder that the likes of Amazon or online pharmacies are eating their lunch. They're terrible retailers and they show no sign of getting better. Anyway, that's what's on my mind. And as always, I wanna hear what's on your mind.